Welcome to another video tutorial from Grand Trim Latin support. My name is Miguel and I will walk you through on the OpenVPN settings that GXP series should have for remote connections. We're going to use for this tutorial Grand Stream IP phone, the GXP 2125. Before starting with this configuration, we should know that the UCM or IPPBX must be behind the OpenVPN server. Once we registered our GXP 21 as an OpenVPN client, it will have access to the local network from which the UCM is, and all the VoIP traffic between the GXP21 and the UCM will be encrypted through the OpenVPN tunnel we already created. By knowing this, let's begin. For this remote connection, we shall be previously provided of the following parameters that are obtained from the OpenVPN server side, from which I already have in the following folder. They are the CI certificate, the client certificate, and the client key. Additionally, we have the server information we will use for the connection, in which it is in this txt file. As you can see, I will open the txt file and I will place it here. Please take note on the server information. This is the information of the OpenVPN server that we need to possess for the client connection. Among this, we have the public IP or the domain name of the OpenVPN server. We also have the listener port of the OpenVPN connection. In this case, I will use the port by default, the 1194. The OpenVPN connection will be established. In this case, we select the UDP. The cipher method that needs to be selected from the server side, we're going to use the Blowfish. The username and password for authentication purposes. For this tutorial, we will use DC credentials such as Pablo for both fields. We do recommend that the password contains uppercase and lowercase letters and special characters. Additionally, we're going to verify that our OpenVPN server has enabled the LCO compression. By having settled all of this, we're going to access to the web UI of our phone in order to load all of these configurations. We begin with our administrator credentials for access. Additionally, we need to verify that in our phone, we don't have access to the OpenVPN server. For that, let's go to status, network status, and here on the section that says OpenVPN IP, we will see that the field is empty. Now, I will show you a little test before configuring the OpenVPN connection. You will see that from this point, I will try to register a zip extension from the UCM without being connected through the OpenVPN. And I will not register with it. So the extension will be the 105, the zip server will be the private IP of the UCM, I will fill the user ID and zip authentication string for the extension 105 and the password of it, I will set an easy one. Okay, so now we save and apply settings. You will see that the account is activated, but once we go to the status page, it won't be registered. So we need to first make the client OpenVPN connection for us to locally connect with the UCM. Okay, having shown this, I will reset the account settings and I will save and apply settings. So in order to confirm, I will verify that we don't have an IP from the OpenVPN server. Now that we know it, I will load the client OpenVPN server settings to the phone. For that, we need to go to the network and OpenVPN settings. You can see that by default, the OpenVPN is disabled. So let, let's enable it. So now I will show you again the OpenVPN settings that I will load to the phone. We need to set the public IP address or domain name of the remote OpenVPN server. In this case, I have a static public IP. The OpenVPN port we're going to use for the connection will be the default one, the 1194. The transport protocol that I'm going to use for the OpenVPN server connection is UDP. On these fields, I'm going to upload the certificates that I have here in the folder. So first, I'm going to upload the CA certificate. We select it and upload it. Then let's now upload the client certificate given by the OpenVPN server.
and at last we're going to upload the client key. What comes next in the list is the cipher method that we're going to use. Blowfish was the one dedicated by the server. Additionally, I will fill the optional user authentication fields with the username and password. I will set two easy ones, such as Pablo, for both fields. We can see that the OpenVPN server has LCO compression enabled. In this case, we're going to enable it. Okay, so once we configured all the settings for the OpenVPN connection, we need to save and apply them. And then for them to take effect, we need to reboot the IP phone. So we need to click on the reboot button above. After a couple of minutes, we can now access to the IP phone again. I will set here the admin credentials for me to access to the web UI of the phone. Then I will go to the OpenVPN settings to check the configurations with it. Here they are. Now we'll go to the network status for me to see the OpenVPN IP. This is the P that the OpenVPN is giving us for our connection through the tunnel, which is the 10.0.0.6. We're not connected to the network. So let's now configure the zip account again. As you saw before, when we tried to use the private IP, the connection wasn't successful. I will try it again with the new settings we have. Additionally, in the account settings that we're going to register the extension, we need to make an additional change. So we need to go to the account number, then we go to the network settings, and there we're going to set the NAT traversal on VPN. This setting is intended for all the audio streams to be sent and received through the VPN, avoiding further audio issues. Then we save and apply changes, and we go to the account settings. Here we're going to load all of the local zip account settings, such as the 105 as my internal account, the internal IP of my server, the authentication fields, which are the user ID, authenticate ID, and the password. And then we hit save and apply. Okay, so now that we have the configuration, let's go to status. And you will see now that our account is locally registered with the UCM. All of this through the OpenVPN tunnel. Being available to send and receive calls without any problem. So this was all the OpenVPN tutorial for our GXP devices. I hope you like this video and it serves of help and utility. Regards.